Hey y'all, hey, I'm back, it's me. And welcome to another edition of Nick at Night. Thank you so much for tuning in on this big Thursday evening. It's March the 3rd, and this video is a little late. Normally I come in on a good hump day Wednesday, but I was traveling yesterday, so you know, better late than never. I wanted to do this video actually before the month of February was out, but I just did not get a chance to tackle it. But I did not want to let the moment pass me by. Um, you know, February is Black History Month. Um, that's an American thing, by the way. But it is Black History Month. And I wanted to share one of the best experiences that I have had in recent memory. I and some of my family members, female family members, we took a trip in January to Washington, D.C., and we visited the African American Museum of Arts and Culture, or Culture and Arts. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's the, the new African American Museum in DC. And when I tell you it is something to behold, I know that a lot of you have children, and even if you don't, I know a lot of people are getting ready to come up on spring break here in um, March or maybe April, whenever your spring break is, but if you are black, and I know a lot of my people who watch me are. Make it your business to visit that African American Museum in DC. Um, some of you may know, some of you may not. I was an African American Studies minor in college. So I got my minor degree in African American Studies. And a lot of the things, most of the things that I saw in the museum, I had seen before. Not that I had seen before, I had read about it before, I had known about it before, but it's been a minute since your girl been in college. So a lot of the stuff I, you know, was recollecting. I was like, oh yeah, oh, I remember that, oh, okay. But the museum as a whole, the museum as a total um, work of art is just, magnificent the whole conception of it if you guys are, are going to spring break or going on spring break if you haven't made plans and you know you're just trying to figure out something to do with your family i encourage everybody anybody who can comprehend that is probably one of the most um expansive museums i've seen in a very long time very detailed um and a lot of black people just don't know our history here in america let alone from africa we we don't know we just don't know it's the situation we are in we just don't know but that museum walks you through step by step from the time our people made it to the shores here in america it's so much information. You can really do a two, three day uh, trip. It, it really will take you two or three trips to, to soak it all in, everything that's there. I mean, y'all, it's so good. It's so well put together. And you know, I love sports. They have an incredible section of just the black sports history here in the country. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful, well thought out, well put together concept. And you go through a gamut of emotions. So be prepared, bring some tissue, bring a fan. You're gonna feel every emotion known to man going through reading and taking in all of the information that they have in that museum. I recommend any and everybody who can comprehend even in everybody who can read, any and everybody who wants more knowledge of self. And it, it it's just awesome. I cannot say enough about it. I believe every school uh, should make it a field trip for um, K through six. At some point, K through six, I think it should be a mandatory field trip for black kids i just do i'm sorry I, I i can't speak on nobody else and and that's the other thing y'all let me just tell y'all how i was feeling a little bit in there i had to really calm myself because if y'all look at my channel y'all know you know how i feel about pilgrims and colonizers and whatnot 
And it's so many, we're in America. So, you know, there are different cultures here and everybody, I don't care what they try to tell you, everybody, they want to be where the black people are. They just do. We just cool like that. We just carry that kind of swag. So they want to be where the black people are. So they in the museum. Everybody is in the museum because they want to see. They want to see. They want to know. You know, they just want to see and they want to know. So while I am reading and intaking all of these things and all these atrocities that were done to my folks here abroad, it just it's a lot. And so I'm looking around. And I see these other people. And, you know, I just feel away. I do. I just, I feel away. I have to center myself. I have to calm myself down. The group that I was with, we were all over the place emotionally. Some were, you know, driven to tears. It was overwhelming. It really was. And for me, it was overwhelming. And a lot of the stuff I knew, you know, it wasn't news to me. I knew it, but just to read it and the way it's depicted and the way that it's set up and the way it is put together, it I recommend it for any and everybody who looks like me. I'm not going to tell folks who don't look like me to not go because I think they could really learn a few things too. Not that they will completely inhale all that is there, but whatever. I'm talking to my folks. Y'all, go to the museum, the African American Museum of Arts and Culture. Go to the museum in DC. Side note. They have a cafe there, okay? Y'all also know if y'all watch me, I love food and I love sports. They have a cafe at the museum, okay? The cafe, and y'all, I eat. Like, I love to eat. And I've had some of the best food known to men. But I will tell you in that cafe, I had no idea. And I'm not telling you that everything in the cafe is good, but these items that I had in the cafe were top notch. You know, everybody has a fried chicken because the cafe, let me just say the cafe is about Southern cuisine. Okay. It's about black Southern cuisine. So you had your fried chicken. And at the time that I went, I was trying to, you know, I was watching my little figure, watching my weight and whatnot. So I didn't want to get the fried chicken, but one of the ladies in my group got the fried chicken and she knows that I'm greedy. So she let me have some and I ended up having all of it because it was just that magnificent. Let me tell you something. If you go to the cafe, at the black um at the African American Museum in DC. Get the chicken. Get the fried chicken, y'all. I'm hoping that it's like that every day every day. But on the day that I was there, the fried chicken was fried like it was meant to be from the conception of fried chicken. It buttermilk fried chicken, y'all. I'm not finna even go into detail about how I was licking my fingers at the table. Buttermilk fried chicken at the cafe at the museum. Also, they had a salmon patty because that's what I got because, you know, I was trying to watch my way and whatnot. Salmon patty was a salmon croquette and it was delectable. It was excellent. Loved it. I ate the patty and the chicken and a few other things. Oh, they had this, um, the black eyed pea salad. In Texas, we call it Texas caviar. I had never tried it because I'm not a huge black eyed pea girl. But again, one of the ladies at the table had it and she knows that I like to eat. So she was like, Nick, you should really try this. Y'all, those of you who have had Texas caviar, you know, but if you have not, that would be the place to try it. It was an excellent dish. It's a cold salad, black eyed peas, cilantro, red onion, some type of dressing drizzle. I don't know what it was, but it was delicious. Anyway. The museum was hitting on all cylinders, okay? Not only was the menu uh, to dine excellent, but the museum as a whole was fantastic. They have sections for music, sections for arts, the arts, you know, music, um, um, theater, television. Uh, they have sections, of course, you know, um, giving us the blow by blow and 
you have to read though this is a museum where you're going to have to read don't go in there being lazy thinking everything is on the show and they're gonna you know recite everything for you you have to go in there take your time be prepared uh, have on great walking shoes go in there ready to learn and receive wonderful beautiful resilient history of africans who were brought here to america who made a way out of no way like we do that is what we do be prepared to receive all of that information it was one of the best things i've done in 2022 now i have decided that i'm going to take myself a little adventure each and every month the month of february um, i had an unexpected adventure but it was an absolute blast one of the best relaxing vacations i've had in my life anyway so you know um march is coming i'm going to the new edition concert i'm hoping that all six members make it once they get here and i'm sure hoping that bobby brown and lost a couple of pounds so that he don't be looking like td jakes when he get here and i hope that all of jodeci makes it to the stage and i know i can count on charlie wilson because he's a professional so that's my activity in march in april going to the fight so i'm still looking for stuff to do for the rest of the year but i encourage y'all if it's just a small dinner by yourself because i have no problems going to sit down and eat by myself when the movies were open i would go do that too by myself take some time out to pamper yourself take some time out to do some things for you just for you just you rejuvenate yourself and don't get too caught up in the melee of life that you don't get a chance to just enjoy being here okay because it's a lot of folks that ain't here no more y'all anyway so that's my tidbit enjoy the rest of the week i will see y'all tomorrow with my girl Bastiana, and that's it enjoy your evening bye y'all